What's up internet? I recently got a hold of the Xbox wireless adapter for Windows 10. This little guy allows me to connect my Xbox Series controller wirelessly to the PC and use the Xbox wireless protocol which they claim it'll have a lot lower latency than Bluetooth technology. What do you say we put this to the test and do an input lag analysis to see if it truly is faster than Bluetooth? Let's get started. I've already got some pre-recorded footage for this already. So I've got the wireless adapter here, the Bluetooth, and for kick and giggles, we also throw in the wired one. Uh, I'm using a high-speed camera that's capable of recording 960 frames per second. We're going to use these footage and throw them into a video editing program, which is DaVinci Resolve for me. And then just count the frames from when the button is pressed to when the action happens on screen. Here's my video editing program. Let's do the wireless adapter first. Let's throw these guys in here. If I were to play it, it would look like this. See how there's a press and then there's that red light that lights up in the back. So we're gonna just count the moment that I press the button to the moment that the red light on the back of the screen will light up. And then just count how many frames it took in between. That's how we're gonna determine our input lag. After inputting all the data for the Xbox wireless adapter, this is what I got. The input delay ranges from 47 milliseconds to 70 milliseconds at the highest. And on average is 58 milliseconds. And this is out of 20 button presses. You gotta keep in mind that this number is not actually the input delay for the adapter because you have to take into consideration the input delay of my monitor and also the software that I use. But our goal in this video is to compare the difference between the wireless adapter and Bluetooth to see which is faster. So I'm just done entering in all the data for Bluetooth and I got at the lowest maybe 57 milliseconds of input delay and at the highest we got 72. On average we got 64 milliseconds of average delay out of 20 button presses. So how do we compare to the Xbox wireless adapter? With the adapter we got about 58-59 milliseconds and with Bluetooth we got 44 so maybe there's about five or six millisecond difference. Honestly, this is surprising to me. I thought that the Xbox adapter would be a lot faster. Five, six milliseconds, that's nothing. But if you're playing competitive gaming like fighting games, I guess every single millisecond counts, right? It could be the difference between you hitting your opponent first or your opponent hitting you first. Now there's only one question remains. How does the adapter compared to it being wired. Well, let's find out. The wire data has been entered. The input delay ranges from 48 at the lowest to 66 at the highest, but mostly it hangs around the 50s, right? And on average, I got about 55 milliseconds of delay again out of 20 inputs. So how does this compare to everything else? Here we got the wired results. So we got 55 milliseconds. Compare that to the Xbox adapter which is about 58 and Bluetooth which is 64. So being wired is still the fastest input method which makes sense. And then the Xbox adapter is pretty close. It's about three or four milliseconds slower and then we got Bluetooth being the slowest. So these results are pretty expected, right? Of course, we expected the wire to be the fastest. And we knew that the Xbox adapter 
is going to be faster than Bluetooth. But to be honest with you, Bluetooth is not bad at all. If you're not playing competitive gaming, it doesn't even matter to be honest with you. The differences are so minute. I mean, we're talking about milliseconds here, so one thousandth of a second. At the end of the day, just play with whatever you have, play with whatever you're comfortable with, and then have fun. Alright guys, that's it for me. If you found it to be interesting or helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more. Take care.